Hey, this is Chris Cast, episode two, season two. Uh, Zwalking, Zwalker, Zwiftly, Unzwift, and Watopia, Watopian. Anyway, I love Zwift, and I love Strava, and I love Stride, and I love Fitbit, and I love Polar H10 and Garmin, uh, Dual HRM, and I love all those things, including a Wahoo Ticker X. This is all about uh, the world of Zwift and... I'm surprised a lot of y'all, all y'all haven't heard of it, haven't used it, haven't even explored it. And that's what this episode is about. I'm going to go into my life as a committed Zwalking Zwalker. I'm a Zwalker on Zwift as opposed to a runner or a biker. We'll talk about it in a second. See you in a moment. Second, not second, Chris. Come on, you know better. Hey, welcome back. Chris Cass, Season 2, Episode 2. This is all about Zwift. So I first got Zwift. I think I got Zwift. Did I get Zwift? I got Zwift for... Um, I got it for my treadmill desk. I spend a lot of time every day, at least, you know, 10,000 to 16,000 steps a day on my treadmill desk working or just trying to be active in my sedentary life. And so I have a treadmill desk, and it's made by uh, uh, Lifespan. And it's a DT2000 or something like that. And I try. And on top of it, there is a an HP all-in-one with a curved screen and a really awesome uh, uh, yoga... Um, Jedi or something like that. Awesome, like, uh, expensive clicky keyboard. And a Bose, uh, um, old-fashioned Bose Wave Acoustic radio. And then right next to it, there's a Ski Erg. And in front of it, in other words, in the opposite place that I stand, there's a Kaiser M3, an old one, not the M3i. Uh, uh, um spin bike it's a uh, a stationary bicycle it's really cool looking look what up it's kaiser m uh, m3 and uh and then i've got a, a series of kettlebells um but let's talk about zwift i i heard about zwift but zwift z w i f t dot com uh on on the socials it's go zwift g o z w z w i f t and it is a virtual world. And it's a virtual world as janky and as basic as uh, uh, 19, uh, early, mid-2000, early 2000, Second Life. Totally janky. Really basic. A lot of uh, glitching where, you know, your body and another body will merge or your feet will go underground or you'll walk through something instead of around it. Really glitchy, but other than that, it's freaking awesome. Um, at first, I wasn't into it because it was biking only, and at that time, I had I was spending a lot of money on spin class. But then they introduced running, and I wanted to see if I could run with Zwift, and if I could walk with Zwift. So I started doing some research. And it turns out at the time when I started, which is, you know, a year ago, uh, the Zwift pod, the Zwift foot pod, there's various ways to connect to Zwift. All right. On a bike, you can have uh, a smart bike, 
which is uh, which means that the power and the cadence and the speed of the bike is automatically transmitted to Jif, sorry Zwift, uh, via Bluetooth and Ant Plus. Or you can do what I did to my Kaiser M3, which has no uh, electronic communication. So I just got these things called the Wahoo uh, Cadence and Speed uh, pods and glued them to my bike's um, pedals and well not to the pedals to the to these um to the arm what was it called the crank the crank arm and then to the uh i tried to kind of hack the other pod onto the um the spin wheel but it turns out that the zwift endorsed pod doesn't work at the slow, slow, slow speeds that I go at. So um, I'm surrounded by uh, heart rate monitors because of my rowing machine and all the other stuff that I do. So I have um, I have a Polar H10. I have a Garmin uh, Dual HRM uh, heart rate monitor. I have uh, a Garmin Ticker X. I have a um, I probably have something else. But then I had no way of transmitting power, cadence, and speed into Swift. So I start looking. And, and there's this amazing foot pod that my favorite YouTuber, uh, Kofuzi, uses called the Stride. And it turns out that the Stride, um, which is kind of expensive... Hey, Google, how much does the Stride Foot Pod cost? Here's a summary from the website runnersworld.com. The Strud Power Pod will set you back $199. That's about £150 based on the exchange rate at the time of writing. That's certainly a decent investment on top of a running watch. So, but you'll kind of need one to work with... Uh, with uh, Zwift on running because especially if you're going to be a Zwalker. So I spent it and it is amazing. It is a uh, fantastic technology. It is some technology is so good that you're convinced it, it's alien technology. And that's certainly the case with the stride pod. It uh, communicates. It's got a great app. It works with, uh, I believe, BLE. It might be Ant Plus, I'm not sure. And um, with the heart rate monitor and the and the stride, I can walk and walk and walk. And, and most of the time, I only walk two, 2.1 miles per hour. And I'll walk um, for half an hour. I'll walk for an hour. Um, right now, as I mentioned in yesterday's podcast, I will walk for half an hour, then do... 90 seconds to two minutes on the ski erg and then i'll go back and walk another half an hour and then do uh, 90 seconds to two minutes on the kettlebell and do that all day long but it's really good because you can just walk away and your dude just stands there and then you you start walking and he walks again you don't have to steer him uh you don't have to do anything he's completely a he he's it's like one of these military drones right if the if there's nobody at the stick the drone is on autopilot right it doesn't crash the moment you're not paying attention to it so i can walk away take a call forget to save it come back the um uh the elapsed time doesn't stop but the active time stops and conveys that information to strava it talks to strava it talks to all every single um, online platform, you know, including, uh, Runkeeper, I think, and, uh, Nike, I think, and, and, uh, all of them, uh, I'm sure it talks to Apple. I don't know, but it's really great. And I started off by walking around. Um, I'd walk in the, in, uh, in the Austrian Alps, uh, in, in, in one of their in-world Innsbruck experiences, or I'd walk the Champs-Élysées in France, or I'd walk 
um, London or, uh, or Richmond, Virginia. But at some point I realized since I, I don't have any electronics on my treadmill desk to change the cant or the angle of the, of the treadmill, then I should just stand someplace that's completely flat because otherwise Strava is going to take into account that I, uh, went up or down, uh, various and sundry inclines and declines and chain and, and put that into the recorded workout. So all I do is now really boring. Like I go to this in world that is custom designed for Zwift and it's called Wattopia. And, you know, it's based on the Watts that of the power that you produce when you're in there. And I go to their in-world uh, track, running track, and it's blue. And I just walk around that over and over and over and over and over again. Um, and then when I'm finished, uh, after, you know, 3.1 miles, 6.2 miles, or 30 minutes or 60 minutes, I click on menu, then I click end, wa- end run, and then I upload to Strava, and it, saves perfectly into Strava, including heart rate, including, um, power and all that stuff. And I call it, I, I, this is not, my treadmill desk is not set up even for slow jogging. So it's just completely a third thing. It's not, uh, Zwift running. It's not Zwift riding. It is walking. And I'm trying to get people to pick up on that. In fact, I registered zwalking.com and I started a zwalking.com Tumblr, which I'm doing a terrible job of keeping updated. But that is that. It's very fun. It's very exciting. Um, if I'm having, uh, okay, here's a couple other things I needed to buy. Um, it works. Everything works with the Bluetooth that's on your laptop or your computer. But if you might also need Ant Plus. And you can get an Amp Plus USB dongle on Amazon for like seven to nine to twenty to thirty-five dollars. There's really no difference between them all. Get one, plug it into one of your USBs, and it'll be found. Um, You can run your Zwalking through an Android device, or an Apple device, or an iPod Touch device. And I even bought a um, Apple. Uh, TV, HD, TV, 4K TV um, device because I can connect also to uh, to my uh, my uh, Sony TV, my uh, my flat screen TV. I can pl- I can connect all my devices uh, either directly to the Bluetooth that's connected to that that is built into the Apple. 4K HD t- uh, device, or I can use the I can use my Android or my iPod Touch uh, using an app called the Zwift Companion. Now, the best way to use Zwift is using both the Zwift app and a secondary Zwift Companion. It, it'll give you full access to an overview of what's going on on the site. However. of all the useful tools in the Zwift uh, world and the Zwift companion world are optimized for for cyclists instead of uh, walkers or runners. Um, And so adjust accordingly. I've never connected uh, my Zwalking. Oh, so if you run out of USB uh, or, or Ant... You can't run out of AMP, but if you run out of USB connections, like let's say uh, on my Kaiser, I have heart rate monitor, I have, uh, and I also have the speed and the cadence uh, pod, Uh, there might be too many USB devices to run them all. So I can outsource some of those connections to um, to the Zwift Companion on a phone or on um, the iPod Touch, or something like that, whatever supports it, and so I can add more than would be allowed just based on the Apple device. Anyway, I'm going to stop and then come back and tell you a little bit about my Zwift riding, which is 
interesting. I highly recommend checking out Zwift. None of my friends, uh, I'm the first person to tell anybody I know about it. Um, and it's a really open place. I think most people there are 40 and up, 50 and up. Like most people look like they're middle-aged dudes who just spend all their time on bicycles. Um, it's really fun. There's a lot of gamification in there. You get experience points. You unlock things like on video games. You unlock different jerseys, different shorts, different glasses, different hats. If you're on a bicycle, you unlock different. Oh, you unlock different shoes. If you're on a bicycle, you unlock different um, other things like different bicycles or different types of bikes and all kinds of other stuff. You can communicate with other people. You can give them thumbs up and ride on, ride, R-I-D-E, ride on. Um, there's so much stuff to do, but it's really optimized for cyclists. And I'll come back and talk about how I kludged and hacked together my spin bike, which has zero technology into actually being something I can use but not use relatively well or accurately or effectively and what it would cost me to take it to the next level. Come back after the break. Hey there, season two, episode two, Chris Cast, all about Zwift. Um, so I also have got this uh, Kaiser M3 that I got used off the back of a truck, uh, uh, paid $300 for it. It's like a beautiful thing. If you look it up, it's gorgeous. Um, and it's built like a tank. It'll survive the apocalypse. And uh, it doesn't have any technology at all. And I wanted to use it for, for Zwift. So I hacked it by buying something that it's not meant to work with, which is um, a, uh, a, a, a company named Wahoo makes a thing, two pods that work together. One pod called Cadence goes on to the, um, the, 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 um, uh, the arm of the pedal, the, um, I forgot what the word is. The crank arm of the pedal uh, with some zip ties. And then the uh, there's a, a speed uh, pod that I glued onto the rear, um, you know, the rear wheel, uh, the flywheel of the, of, the, of the spin bike. And then I put on my, uh, I put on my, um, I put on my heart rate monitor. <clears throat> And, um, and then I either, I either run my, I either watch movies and then run Zwift cycling on, in a corner on either the iPod touch or my, uh, Samsung note 10 Android, or I run it directly off of the, uh, the Apple TV 4k device that I bought explicitly uh to run with zwift but watching zwift zwift is so boring that i always want to do something else but i could of course read while doing zwift and and put uh the the video graphics on the screen which i might do uh in the future because i spent the money for it i mean luckily uh apple tv the online tool works like rubbish over my Roku. So it's nice having uh, the backup if I want to watch Apple TV or iTunes uh, on a device that's optimized for it. I think Apple does that intentionally. Um, degrades usability on Roku and uh, forces you to use uh, native Apple products. But I've got, uh, there's really bad cage. So I hacked in a blue anodized cage onto there. I got an aftermarket cushy uh, seat uh, that 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 um, 
is from the uh, Kaiser M3i, the, the more modern one. I wrapped all of the bars with, um, with fancy cork blue cork tape, and it's a real beauty. The only thing is, is that nothing about this translates accurately. I'm cheating all the time. I'm cheating all the time when I'm on Swift with this bike because uh, I don't know how to set it up correctly so that it effectively uses power. So as a result, it tries to interpret the garbage information that I send to it using the two pods, the two BLE uh, Bluetooth low energy pods um, as best it can, which means anytime I'm doing any type of cycling at a fast rate, it powers me at 400 watts. And if I get out of the saddle to do any hard workouts, since it doesn't have um, power pedals, it doesn't know that I'm working harder when I'm out of the saddle grinding. It just looks like I'm riding slower. So in order to perform well, I always have to be riding fast, which I guess is good in terms of cardio. But everything, if you ever see me upload a Zwift ride, it's all lies, 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 lies. It's just I want to be entertained while I'm riding. I will ride for myself. But uh, Strava will take all the information as gospel, and it's all lies. So I don't like lying. So what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to be ending up spending hundreds of dollars to buy uh, to buy power pedals for this three hundred dollar used spin bike. I just I can't bear not riding on this thing. So I'm not going to go ahead and get a um, wahoo smart bike or a or any type of smart bike and replace it with it i'm just going to keep on hacking uh this bike to use it with zwift and that's going to include i think there were sort of a vaporware set of of power pedals that were being um promoted and also uh being promoted via um you know one of those uh what are they called uh where you invest money on uh, a device being produced, and when you when it gets produced, you get a bunch of uh, you get a bunch of based on the level that you invest, you get uh, you get uh, one or more products back or, or perks or whatever they're called. Um, but I've heard a lot of terrible things. I think the the buy in price is low, and I think you can buy a left, a right, or you can buy both pedals. And I think I'm going to end up buying those, even if I'm going to end up being a beta tester, because otherwise, um, power pedals that give you accurate wattage based on how hard you ride, those things are like $700, and I, I just can't rationalize that. Uh, but I probably will end up rationalizing that at some point down the road. Uh, I'm, I'm an idiot, right? I, 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 spend, I spend my retirement money on toys. Anyway, um, I really encourage you to check out Zwift. It makes, it makes grinding, it makes uh, just putting together all the miles much more interesting. And it actually makes it much more fun to do things indoors that um, entertain your friends and followers on, on Strava. Um, Anyway, I really enjoyed talking to you about this. I will come back and tell you the numerous and sundry ways you can reach me. Oh, 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 I forgot. Once you're in, once you're in world, you can use either your, um, if you have a touchpad and you're using Zwift that way, or a screen that you have a mouse to, you can interact with people via the, via the in world screen. But let's say, I'm using it on an Apple TV. Everything that you need to do, like giving people rides on or thumbs up or U-turns or or I'm toast or any of the other little funny things uh, can be done, including shout outs and so forth, can be done in the Zwift, uh, um, um, uh, the Zwift, the, the Zwift assistant app, or I just said what it was, uh, 
It's called the Zwift um, the Zwift Companion. Uh, so you know if you're riding, um, and and I'm only scratching the surface. You can do uh, you can do huge races, but you need to have a bike that can communicate well with Zwift. You need to invest in a smart trainer or a a, 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 a something that allows your your um allows whatever you're riding on whether it's your regular bicycle uh connected to a a a smart trainer device that that attaches to your bike or whether it's a full-on wahoo kind of peloton-esque bike you really need to make sure that before you become competitive you do it uh properly and correctly and i mean if i won a race based on this kluji like wahoo pod like 400 no matter what i do 400 watts um i would i would be drummed out of the out of the world like um i can do it now and it's fun to zip past people but i'm doing free rides and nobody like th there's a real competitive system there's there's real um races every single day and like competitive training rides everything and anything that people do out there like criterions and so forth are are done uh in world including uh you know um 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 uh the um oh uh, the blah 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 de france uh um can't believe it the tour de france and all these things can be emulated in world uh they've got sprints they've got they're going to be working i think they're probably working on tri, tri triathlons even if they can't do swimming they can do the other two with transitions um it's a real world i just fumble about in it when it comes to running i walk and when it comes to really honestly when it comes to riding I use the equivalent of an in-world e-bike, right? Like if my bike takes whatever pedaling I'm doing and turns it into 400 watts of freaking power, it means I'm basically riding an e-bike in world. So that's totally not fair. And if I, I would, I'll never join a race. I'm only using it for entertainment purposes. But if you intend to do anything serious with it, you need to get the right technology. One thing I've never done is I've never decided during a walk i mean i could do that i could have my uh my stride pod and my chest strap and then i could set up my phone to run zwift and walk outside and still be in the zwift world i mean that seems stupid to me because i'd rather just use Z gps and live in the real world as opposed to being in the in world oh and one more thing whether it's um the uh whatever device it is it runs hot right so when i'm running my android or running my uh ipod touch uh both devices run hot to the touch while they're running zwift so that might be important for you to know i also know that older devices uh tend to like the more powerful your device like i could have run this on a lower end version of the apple tv but if you get the higher higher and higher versions there's more and more rendering like things like shadows etc it'll it'll res down according to what your particular device can support so uh if you don't need any high resolution and it's not a very high res game anyway uh you need to get the latest and greatest tech anyway um I'm going to end this and then we'll do the close up next. Thanks, guys.
Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Season 2, Episode 2, Chris Cast. My name's Chris Abraham. I'm chris at abraham.su via email. Uh, via text, it's plus one two zero two three five two five zero five one. That's two zero two three five two five zero five one. Country code plus one America, and Canada, I guess North America. Uh, you can uh, blah blah blah. My HQ is chrisabraham.com. My Tumblr is chris-abraham.com or zwalking.com. Uh, I'm at youtube.com slash Chris Abraham, uh, facebook.com slash Chris Abraham, twitter.com slash Chris Abraham, um, instagram.com slash Chris Abraham. I'm at linkedin.com slash in slash Chris Abraham. You want to throw me money? Uh, you can do it at anchor.com slash Chris Abraham slash support. And I'd really love it if you subscribed, um, gave me stars, gave me thumbs up, commented, reviewed, um, do it on all of your platforms. I think it really matters, uh, on Apple, uh, podcast, but it could matter everywhere, like on Stitcher or iHeartRadio or Spotify or any place you listen to your podcasts. Um, if you call me at 202-352-5051, I won't answer unless I know you already or we have a call scheduled. And if you want to schedule a call, please do so at Calendly, C-A-L-A-C-A-L-E-N-D-L-Y dot com slash Chris Abraham slash 15 or slash 30. And we'll schedule a call and I'll call you at your number at the appointed time. I really appreciate you listening to me. I hope you give Zwift a try. I don't have any discount codes or anything. They're not sponsoring me. I just find it extremely amusing. And I hope you find it amusing too. If you get on there, please contact and connect with me. Please connect with me on Strava. Those are two places I live too. Uh, Chris Abraham on Strava. Um, and, um, see Abraham on Zwift. I don't even know how to connect you on Zwift. Maybe if you put in Chris at GarrisCorp.com or something like that, my email address, maybe you can find me that way. Anyway, uh, damn glad to know you and I'll talk to you soon. Come to the next episode. I have no clue what it'll be about, but I know it'll be amusing to me. Ciao.